Hey everybody, Dixon back here to talk to uh, white people once again. Um, thank you white people for standing up in Virginia and around the country and demanding that these racist symbols be torn down. But standing up against racist extremists and standing up against these racist symbols is not going to fix the problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing it. But what we also equally passionately have to fight is to take is to fix and dismantle the system and the culture of white supremacy that lives and breathes in every single facet of America. Um, it's, it's, it's the average white man. It's the silent white person. That's the problem. It's the passive-aggressive white apologist that say stupid shit, that live in denial and delusion, defensiveness and fragility and fear and greed. This is the real, the apathy, the entitlement, the privilege, all these things, the racial disparities in every single fucking American institution. These are the things that we have to be conscious of, be mindful of, have to get woke about. These are the things, and this is the key to dismantling the system and culture of white supremacy. White people have to be able to see the white supremacist culture that we live in. They have to be willing to listen to people of color about their full reality of what they live in racially. And until white people do that, we're all fucked. Not just people of color, white people are fucking themselves. Spiritually, psychologically, socially. It's dysfunctional to live a lie. So I've said this a thousand times, but we've got to be mindful and we have to think about the larger picture. We have to think about all the white apologist mentalities that live in this nation. All the white people that live in denial. All the white people that want to project their racism back on the people of color. This is the problem. We have to change the mentality, change the culture, change the system. We have to fight injustice, not just racist, racist extremism. I'm so glad that you are fighting it, and I applaud everyone, and, and thank God. But going home and remaining silent, you know, when your friends say racist jokes, or when you hear something, or when you see something, or being passive in other ways, toward um, injustice or or dismissing people of color when they say things about their life racially. All this shit, all this denial is so saturated and soaked in white culture. All this apathy toward people of color that we've been indoctrinated with. These are the things that have to change culturally. And then we have to attack institutional racism and the system of racism that is operating. So these are the things that I wanted people to be mindful of. And I just want to say one more thing. That racist motherfucker in the office, that white supremacist, I've been saying it for over a year now that he is uh, a white supremacist and he is their leader. And most people know this if you're woke at all. If you know anything racially about our country and about our nation, you know that Donald Trump is a motherfucking racist of the highest, highest sense. And obviously, why the fuck would... Would Trump actually condemn white supremacists when he is their fucking leader? <laughs> so please impeach that motherfucker. We have to all fight to get this motherfucker impeached and his racist cabinet. It's our patriotic duty. True patriotism fights for humanity, not for their country, but for the humanity of everybody. That's what patriotism is. The larger picture. Don't allow this racist motherfucker and Jeff Sessions and Steve Bannon and all the other racist motherfuckers in his cabinet to operate and to take us back as much as they possibly fucking can. This motherfucker is now defending white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and, and the KKK. This should not be tolerated. This shit has to stop now. But I just want to say thank you to all the folks that are taking down these racist symbols all over our fucking country. And remember, taking down these racist symbols is not going to fix racism. Fixing racism is every single fucking white person doing their part every single fucking day. Being conscious of what the fuck is happening around you and fighting against it. Not just fighting racist extremism. Not just fighting national monuments that are, that are symbols of racism but fighting it in every single way, and especially in our educational system. If we could just teach the truth to every single child in America about race, about our history, not the revisionist whitewashed history, but the actual truth about what we did 
throughout, through colonization, through genocide, through atrocities, 500 years on every single fucking continent, and how that affects us now, and how that we have a colonized white supremacist mindset as white culture and as a nation, as Americans. All this shit has to be, be taught in school. Anti-racism has to be taught in school. We have never dealt with the issue of white supremacy. That's why it's still alive, thriving today, as it was 150 years ago, as it was 50 years ago. Today, we see it in the streets. We see the ignorant white supremacists fighting. We have a racist white supremacist uh, president in 2017. He's as racist as any president throughout our fucking history. So we're still in this fucking mess because white people have yet to take one single remote responsibility and I mean collectively, and until white people can let go of their fucking insecurity, their fucking greed, their fucking fear, and their trained and doctrinated white supremacist mentality of denial, of apathy, being a white apologist, projecting that shit back on the people of color. Do three things, white people. Acknowledge, get to the simple place where you can acknowledge the truth act take an active stance against any form of racism and then pass it on and then when you do those things do it in the right way we're not here to be heroes we're not here to be saviors we're here to simply save our human race not just we're not helping people of color we're helping ourselves as well people of color are helping us by listening and teaching us the truth we have to listen to people of color racially they are our teachers when it comes to race but we're not saving anybody. You're not a fucking hero. This is not about you or your glory or your legacy. This is about taking our country back to, to humanity, taking our country back to what it was supposed to be, which is justice and peace for all, not justice and peace for white people. So do it the right way. If you're going to be an anti-racist, which you have to be, do it the right way. Listen to people of color racially. Don't fucking be defensive. Don't fucking deny their truth. Listen to them and know when to shut the fuck up and stay in your lane. Don't ever lecture people of color about race. They live it every fucking day. They don't need you to tell them a goddamn thing. Handle your own business. Can white people handle their own business? And that's all I'm going to say. And impeach that racist motherfucker in his racist fucking cabinet. Thanks.